Hey, boys and girls, this is Mrs. Kiger, and I'm here to talk to you about graduated cylinders as a tool that scientists can use when measuring different types of liquids in their science lab. Kind of like a measuring cup that you would use at home if you were cooking or baking. The important thing that you need to know about graduated cylinders is that they have different scales. So the scales is how you read the numbers. So we're going to talk about this when we get to thermometers as well, that you have to know what the scale is in order to understand it. Also, there are many different sizes of graduated cylinders. I know it's kind of hard to see here, but I wanted to be able to share my screen too. I got this itty bitty, itty bitty one. And they're all different shapes. Well, they're not all different shapes. They're cylinders, but they're all different sizes. Some are very, very tall. Some are very, very wide, like this one's very wide. Okay, some are very, very skinny. So you really have to know how to use them correctly. So why I'm sharing my screen is so that I can show you because I want you to practice this down below and submit it to me. So if you take a look right here, I'm gonna see if I can write instead of point, okay? If you look here, it always starts at zero at the bottom. Then you see here it has 10, 20, 30. So we know in between all of those that those numbers are counting by 10. So we have to look and see then what are the little numbers counting by? So if I guess that they are counting by ones, I could count it out and check. One, two, three, four, oh, five is right in the middle. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this one happens, these little lines happen to be counting by ones. So when I look at where the line is, and sometimes water, when we see it, it kind of has this little curve to it. So I'm at 10 here. 11, 12, 13, 14 milliliters. We usually measure liquids in milliliters or liters when we're using the metric system. So you can see the answer down here. I look at this one and I see it's 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay, it's counting by tens as well. It looks like it has the same amount of spaces here. It's just kind of probably this one is just a different size, okay? So this one would, again, be counting by 10. So those little marks, let's just double check. One, two, three, four, five is right in the middle. It's a little bit bigger. Six, okay. So those are counting by ones. So since I know that, I just come all the way up here to 40, 41, 42. My writing with this is probably going to be awful, so I apologize. 42 milliliters. My milliliters is not going to look so great, but I tried my best. There we go. Now, I come over here to this one. This one doesn't look the same at all. It goes from 25, 50, 75, 100. So this one is counting by 25s. So now we've got to figure out if this is counting by 25s, what does each of these little marks mean? Well, it can't be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That says 25. Let's count by, well, probably not going to count by 10, 20. No. Let's try to count by, let's see. Let's try to count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So these little lines are counting by fives. So once again, I go up to the highest number I see, 75, but now I count these by fives. So 75, 80, 85, 90. This one is 90 milliliters. Once again, my sloppy writing. Sorry, I apologize. It's hard to write with the mouse. There we go. 90 milliliters. I did say 90, right? 80, 85, 90. Good. All right. So that one was counting by fives on those little marks. Whoa, look at this one. It's got big numbers. 100, 2. This is counting by hundreds. Okay. So these obviously aren't going to count by ones. They're not going to count by fives. Oh my goodness. Look at, let's try tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 is right in the middle. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So all of these little lines are actually counting by tens. So I come up here. I'm going to guess that this is 250 because it's right in the middle, but I want to make sure I get it right. So if I'm at 200, 210, 220, 230, 240, it is. It's right at 250 milliliters. All right. So I'm going to put this here. You can look back at this to help you, but you have four problems that you are going to write the answers to either in the text box or do your work on a paper and submit your answers to me. Thank you so much, boys and girls.